Today, we're working with our friends at Snell Motors in beautiful Mankato, Minnesota. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to use this really cool rear seat entertainment system. And we are sitting in a uh, GMC Yukon Denali. This is a 2021. Uh, but the features are very much similar uh, for the Chevy Silverado and Tahoes and, of course, the Cadillac Escalade. So as you see, we've got a screen here and you have dual screens. Uh, really cool big large high definition screens and what we're going to do is just tap on the corner here and that turns it on and then you can see there's various different things you can do here now uh, you can plug in a USB you can plug in HDMI's or you can have Miracast now Miracast is used on Android phones only uh, in order to use your iPhone with this you would have to download the app from uh, GM. It's the GM RES app and um, I'll try to give you a shot of it here. Give you a shot, see what it looks like. And I don't have it connected to the Wi-Fi because I need all the password and everything. But you could connect it and it would show you, uh, you could then send anything you've got on your iPhone over to this screen and uh, that's a that's a way of connecting your iPhone. Of course, you could also use. There is an HDMI adapter with a lightning and an HDMI cable, and you would plug it into the HDMI port uh, at the center console there. So um, you know that's another way to connect your iPhone. However, like I said, if you have an Android, it's just as simple as clicking on the Miracast, and it tells you what you need to do from there. So we're going to plug in. I've just got a USB and I've got a USB-C and I'm going to plug that into the back of the center console and you'll see this will pop up now. There we go. We've got video and we've got music. So you can click on this and you see there's different things here uh, that you can scroll through and let's click on something here and that'll come up in just a second there we go so you can play this and of course we don't hear any sound right now because uh, you would have the headphones on or up from up front you can actually play it over the car speakers you can also go and you can you can fast forward you can scrub through and go forward and backward on here and you can of course jump to the next video and there's another uh, really cool vehicle or you can actually hit share and then that will take and share this over to the screen and you would have to hit OK on the other screen or to accept it or to not and then you can hit stop sharing it and it won't share to the other screen anymore and of course if you wanted to see more about what's out there and what you've got you can come back and go back over to the USB and let's see we can scroll through here see the different videos that are available there's Nathan teaching <laughs> that's in his music class and yeah, let's see that's a close-up of Nathan there we go it looks like he's gonna play something so what we can do is go back and then it'll show you all the recents that you've uh, actually watched and, and done so you can quickly jump back to those here just by a, a quick tap of the screen and you can go back here now same with music. Uh, again, this is all going to come across on your headphones or if you decided on the front uh, to turn it on with your system speakers, you could do that. And again, you can jump through and see all the different things here as well. Let's go back over and let's see if you got HDMI connected, HDMI 1 or 2, and I don't. And it shows you all your USBs that you've got. So you could select from here, uh, connect an HDMI device. You could select them here, which... Um, device you actually wanted to watch that was connected. Uh, you can connect uh, anything that has an HDMI uh, output you can connect to that uh, using uh, standard HDMI cable and it plugs right into the back of the center console. So let's go back over here and you can go there full screen and we got Nate again and again you can share or go back home. Now navigate let's talk about that 
say you've got your kids on board or you've got friends and you're taking a long road trip and uh, they're like, hey, wait a minute, we're getting a little hungry here. What can we do? Uh, how about uh, we stop at so-and-so restaurant? Well, you're busy up front driving, so you don't have time to plug in that information into your navigation screen. So you're like, okay, well, great. Find the restaurant and send me the address. So your back seat passengers on either side can just simply click up here and they say, well, you know, we want hotels, we want food, we want coffee, ATMs, leisure, entertainment, shopping, attractions, dealerships, transit, parking, fuel, or health and emergency. So we're hungry. What we're going to do is say we want food. Okay, well, this is going to give you an idea of what's in the area. So from here, Chinese, deli, Mexican, uh, pizza, European, grill, Asian, American, and you can see the dots here it means it's extra screens. You can scroll with your finger or you can actually hit the arrow either way. Or if you decide, hey, we don't really want food, you can just go back in the arrow up here. Then you can see all food, restaurants, fast food, coffee, bars, pubs, pastry shop, ice cream, pizza, hamburgers, barbecue, you name it. It's a little bit of everything. So we're going to pick a restaurant. Now what it will do is find the restaurants in the current area that you're in. And um, what you can do is, again, scroll through here and um, find a specific restaurant that's close by. But let's say you wanted a specific restaurant that you were looking for. So this is where you're going to type it in. And we're going to say Grizzlies. There it is, Grizzlies. And it looks like there's a Grizzlies nearby, so we're going to go to that. Now... It gives you the address and the phone number and it shows you how far away they are and it shows you the directions. However, what you need to do now is send this navigation to the front screen and all you do is simply click on send and the request is sent and it goes up front and then the front driver has to either accept it or ignore it. And if he doesn't accept it, there you go, you'll see request ignored. Okay, so the driver decided, I don't want to eat at Grizzly, so let's go back. Say, fine, we'll find another restaurant. What are you looking for? Well, I don't know. Let's do something fast food. I really don't want to go and sit down and eat. So, all right, well, have your way. What would you like to do? Well, I really like um, uh, Chipotle. Okay, well, there is a Chipotle. I found it for you. And you turn around, you pull this up, click it, send it to the front. They can accept or deny it, and it will let you know if it's accepted or not. In this case, no one's up front. I'm sitting back here, so it did come back as denied. So that's how you use the navigation, and it's really very cool here to get back to that. You can just click on the home screen, brings you back over. Let's go back in and say, hey, I'm watching my video. Oh, I want to find my different videos that I've got here, and... Here we go. Oh man, look at that beautiful GMC Yukon Denali. That's a 2021 from Snell Motors. That's pretty cool. All right, tap full screen. There we go. And again, um, you can share this over. You know, the, your partner over here or your, your spouse or the next kid wants to see the same exact video, then all you gotta do is hit share and they'll hit okay on their screen and now they've got it. Tap the screen again and you're back to full screen where you can see everything again. And of course, you are hearing this on your headphones. So next up, I'm gonna show you some of the controls up front and what it looks like up front when these are actually playing. So hang in there. Okay, so up front, if you wanna see what's happening back there, say you're driving along, you've got your navigation running and it's just, this is how it is and you're, you're just driving right along but you wanna see what's playing back there or you wanna control back there. So you can just simply scroll over, go back to the home screen, scroll over, and you can see where it's top right there. In this case, it says rear media. Click on rear media and you can see what is playing on each screen. Now, you can turn both off. You can mute all in case you wanna to talk to the folks back in the back. Say they've got their headphones on, they're really engrossed in a movie, and you wanna tell them, hey, we're gonna stop for gas or for a restaurant. Then you just want to going to hit mute or if you want to play a movie and you don't want the kids uh, or your passengers any of your passengers playing around with the settings back there you can actually lock that as well and you can independently by screen turn them on or off you can mute them there we go 
Uh, you can lock them or you can actually share. Now this currently is showing the arrow going over to the second screen or whatever's playing on the second screen you could send over to the first screen and then you can see details of what's on the first screen by clicking one or two and you can see here as well and then you could also listen in and let's see if I can and it has an auto track two speed transfer case and the 3.23 rear axle so if you want to check in on what they're watching and find out um, you know what's going on you can actually listen in on that and again you can turn it on or off you can mute it you can lock it or you can share it over to the other screen and we're looking at screen number two right now so oh let me show you this also you can see the source of where it's coming from and you can browse to say hey I want I want you to see another video so you could just browse these videos and click on that and that's the one that'll play or if they're listening to music you could do the same here by playlist and by um, you can search by playlist you can go back whoops <laughs> you can search playlist artists albums songs genres podcast audiobooks anything that's already on the source that you have plugged in back there and this is just for video one again you can come back over here and uh, let me turn this blower down a little bit you could come back over here and then do the same thing for source and browsing for video number two so it's really cool and then here we go this is back in to the full screen so this is where the front passengers can see everything that's going on back in the back and you know it just shows you a snippet but if you want to actually dive down into it and see what's going on you can pause their screen you can fast forward it same with the other one they do work independently with the same source they do play so uh, it's really not bad really a great little system lots of cool stuff lots of high definition to it easy to see easy to to um, to watch and to listen to with the wireless headphones that you pair really a very cool system so Hopefully that's going to help you and um, along your way in using this system. So thanks for watching.